let's talk about how we began then. Um, I, I kind of, as I was drafting this up, I really discovered four phases, well, five, five phases of the Meat Smith operation <clears throat> growth. And we're currently still in the fifth. So it's, it's, oh. it's not over, but it's, it's wrapping up. You so know? the first has to do with when we first began the first phase we started in 2010. Mm -hmm. It was August, I remember. You had just completed your second year of working at the local farm where you mm -hmm. learned, you self-taught yourself um, these these skills. And then in August, we got pregnant with John Luke. Oh, yeah. Our second. That's right. And uh, so we knew we were in for it. <laughs> we knew our, our family was growing. And we didn't really want you to be working 70 80 hours a week for someone else mm -hmm. you know i mean if you're gonna work that much at least let's keep it in house so <laughs> um so we decided to go independent and we thankfully had um both of sets of our parents ran their own businesses mm -hmm. um, and so we had at least a little bit of experience in knowing how, what that was like yeah <laughs> we didn't we weren't completely blinded to to, to the whole process yeah. but um, so we in 2010 we lived in a different house we were in a neighborhood very small neighborhood the house that actually we, we helped build um, when we first moved up to Vashon Island and it was we built it out of a, a home ownership program that was it was sweat equity. They called it sweat equity. So yeah, instead of paying a down payment, you put in the physical labor to build the home. Right, right. And then when it was completed, when everyone's home was completed, we all moved in at the same time, and you just started paying your mortgage. Right, yeah. Kind of unique. So it was unique, yeah. yeah. It was a very small, small, small neighborhood. So our neighbor was like less than 20 feet from us, mm -hmm. um, and it's a very small backyard. But it was a great first home. Um, it had a basically a one car garage, mm -hmm. and that's where we started butchering. That was the shop, and that's when we started acquiring tools. And right. we, <clears throat> our first tools were um, a fifty five gallon drum and a chain hoist, mm -hmm. and I think a grinder was one of the first yeah. things. Yeah, and we talked about all that in our last podcast. Yeah, um, we enumerated all the costs involved there. Yeah, um, and we bought this walk-in yeah we did in our old house we didn't run it because it was too big even though it's teeny tiny <laughs> yeah so this is it's our whole process of buying equipment has been find it on craigslist when we have the extra money right buy it and just kind of store it until mm -hmm. we can use it mm -hmm. and we did that with our humongous three basin mm -hmm. 2000 pound stainless steel sink from the 70s mm -hmm. and we did that with our walk-in mm -hmm. Which are humongous things to store and have yeah. be useless. <laughs> they they were years. yeah they yeah. weren't useful for. I mean, how long would have that been? Four years. Yeah, yeah. Until well, we the, got into the walk-in is what like a eight by eight kind of a walk-in. It is it's ten cube. by ten. Eight by eight. Very yeah. small. Yeah, and so there's panels, the insulated panels, and we just stacked them next to each other in our garage to stay out of the rain. Um, but that was that was actually probably a year or two into the business. Yeah. And we bought that. I think we bought that with like a tax return or with the mm -hmm. money we had saved maybe. On that Craigslist. Was, right. <clears throat> yeah. I remember it was like just over $2,000. Yeah. And without the refrigerant unit actually. Yeah. They, well, it did have it. It came it with it, but it was a piece of junk. Too old. Yeah. Refrigerant that was, you know, like a terrorist agent or something. Yeah. It was... Uh, a poison yeah. uh, outlaw that can't use that refrigerator right. anymore. So, but going back to the very beginning when we realized we wanted to start Farmstead Meatsmith, um, we we looked at our at our garage and it was a one car garage and I mean it still had all of the furnishings of the domestic needs of a a garage. I mean our laundry was in there mm -hmm. and um, storage of various normal things, um, but about half the garage we did have some space. So with the loan that we got, I believe I told you last time, but it was a $3,000 loan. It's a small loan from some friends who mm -hmm. wanted to, who had been wanting to help us in yeah. some way for 
quite a while before then, they really believed in us. Um, and they knew that we could do something unique um, if with just a little bit of capital. So they gave us 3000 well, they loaned us $3,000, and we kind of set up payments with them. I think over the course of a year, we paid it back maybe. Um, and we outfitted the little half of this one-car garage with um, a stainless steel table. Oh, yeah. We did have an antique butcher block. And we had this for our, for our walk-in. Um, we had a sliding door refrigeration unit that your right. parents actually bought for us. Right. It was about $800, I think, yeah. that our electrician was selling. Uh-huh. And so we knew we could trust that it was of decent quality mm-hmm. because our, the electrician that our family uses was reputable. And he, um, we bought it from him, and it was just like a two-door... Sliding, sliding door, glass door, yeah. Refrigerator. I mean, it could it could fit maybe eight bus tubs in it. Yeah, and that was just our curing fridge. We were hanging carcasses remotely at the local exactly grocery store. Right. That was just to house the the cut. The bacon. The the, the cut meat yeah. cuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was basically the beginning of. That was the first shop. That was the first shop. Um, we did we did a few classes in there too. Yep. Maybe, maybe a dozen or so, mm-hmm. and we also leaned heavily on the hospitality of certain farmers to host us for right for actually both slaughter and butchery sometimes out in the field. So yeah, it had its own charm to it. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was really crazy and you know kind of bootstrapping things, but it was still. Um, it was a, I mean, now that we're this far out of it, I look at it, yeah. you know, fondly. <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, I think particularly the value of those classes was there that we could demonstrate that none of those l- lacks of facility were hindrances to quality, right. to product, to what you could achieve with right. a pig or whatever it might be. Yeah. Because um, yeah. some of those were slaughter in a field one day and then the next day was butcher in the field, yeah. <laughs> you know, right. and, and make bacon yeah. and stuff. Trucking yeah. stuff around with coolers and yeah, yeah. So then, two years later, we weren't pregnant yet, mm-hmm. but I knew we wanted more children, mm-hmm. and I knew that there was high possibility of yeah. <laughs> getting pregnant soon. I think John Luke had just been born, maybe or something, and um, I thought we gotta move, and if we're gonna move, we should do it now because, yeah. um, you know, well, I just knew. Our business was, we wanted our business to grow and we wanted our family to grow. And we were very quickly outgrowing in both of those ways yeah. that that home. Mm-hmm. And so um, I thought, I kind of thought that was the time. Let's do it. And the market was really good for home buyers because it was 2012. Yeah. And um, things were still very squishy in the real estate yeah, world. It was very, very low market. And so it was almost, it wasn't a fluke because it took a, unfathomable amount of work on your part to buy this house but it was kind of miraculous that we Mm -hmm. got this two and a half acres Mm -hmm. and with a house and with a wood shed that became our smoker with the addition of a few pieces of plywood and screws just became our smoker right (laughs) like well no actually the first manifestation we it was in there too right away yeah and with a covered car garage that became our shop yes and by it wasn't a garage it was just a it was a roof with six posts Mm -hmm. and that's it every so it it did keep water out Mm -hmm.